Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Blabbering Behar just dug her claws deep into Melania with sick claim about who she really is. The View is known as a liberal daytime talk show which occasionally brings on a conservative commentator to be a voice of opposing viewpoints. This season they are bringing on Meghan McCain for what will be her second season, and also Abby Huntsman. However, regardless of political diversity, The View is still taking shots at the administration. President Trump is usually the target. This time it is First Lady Melania Trump. While First Lady Melania is usually spared, she was not this time around. And what they had to say about her was very unkind. Mediate reported. The View's Joy Behar doesn't think anyone should feel sorry for Melania Trump. After all, before she met Donald Trump and became First Lady she was in Slovenia doing nothing. Behar's comments came during an interview with Van Jones on CNN Saturday. Talking about how Mrs. Trump came on her New York show to hawk jewelry, Behar said on one of her show where the future flotus appeared, she showed her true colors because she believed in birtherism, just like her husband. The View co-host also said Mrs. Trump has had it darn good since she came to America and doesn't think people should be concerned with talk of her unhappy marriage. She is now enjoying the fruits of the American country, Behar told Jones. Her parents are now enjoying chain migration. Why shouldn't she go along with it? She was in Slovenia doing nothing. I don't know what she was doing. What was she doing there? Okay, she was a model. Now she's the first lady. Newsweek reported. The View's Joy Behar attacked Melania Trump on Saturday for being complicit in the dysfunction and hatred of her husband's administration during an interview on CNN's The Van Jones Show. While discussing her long acquaintanceship with the Trump family, Behar revealed that Trump was considered a dodgy businessman in New York before he was elected the 45th president of the United States. I just thought he was kind of a New York character who ripped off people at his businesses, Behar said. Which, everybody in New York seemed to know that. Behar then publicly advised Americans not to feel sorry for the First Lady, citing a 2017 interview, where Melania revealed her birther beliefs while attempting to promote her jewelry line. That was the one place where she showed her true colors because she believed in birtherism, just like her husband, Behar said. She said they didn't have the right birth certificate in Hawaii. Behar went on to point out that Melania has no reason to not support her husband, suggesting that he saved her from a life of nothing in Slovenia. She is now enjoying the fruits of the American country, she said. Her parents are now enjoying chain migration. Why shouldn't she go along with it? She was in Slovenia doing nothing. I don't know what she was doing. What was she doing there? Okay, she was a model. Now she's the first lady. On Friday, the hosts of The View ridiculed the White House and First Lady's reaction to the anonymous New York Times op-ed published earlier that week titled I am part of the resistance inside the Trump administration. Everybody in the White House, including the First Lady, have issued denials that they wrote the anonymous op-ed about working against you-know-who, Whoopi Goldberg said. I was struck by Melania's statement, Sonny Hostin added. Melania Trump, says, people with no names are writing our nation's history. Words are important and accusations can lead to severe consequences. If a person is bold enough to accuse people of negative actions, they have responsibility to publicly stand by their words and people have the right to be able to defend themselves. Who wrote that, Michelle Obama? Joy Behar quipped. On Friday, Stephanie Grisham, director of communications and spokesperson for the First Lady, responded to The View's comments on Twitter referring specifically to a raw story article. If by destroy you mean being disrespectful, and, hypocritical while mocking someone's accent, then the ladies of, The View, succeeded, Grisham said. First Lady Melania Trump though did, in fact, have a career of her own before coming to the United States and marrying her now husband. When she was a teenager she attended the Secondary School of Design and Photography in the capital city of Slovenia. Melania studies architecture and design later at the University of Ljubljana before dropping out later on. At the age of five, she began modeling and when she turned 16 she began doing commercial work for Slovenian fashion photographer Stan Jerko. A few years later when she reached maturity, Melania signed with a modeling agency in Milan, Italy where she began her modeling career. 26 years ago she was named runner-up in the Look of the Year contest by Jana magazine which was held in Ljubljana. Throughout her career, she worked for fashion houses in Paris in addition to Milan. It was during this time she moved to Manhattan, New York. After marrying her husband she launched her own jewelry line in 2010 called Melania Timepieces and Jewelry. It was and is sold through the QVC. Additionally, 
she sold in high-end department stores her own marketed Melania skincare collection line. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.